Hey guys, welcome back to the A-Bomb Barbecue Grilling and Chilling Pad. Today I'm getting ready to hang a pork loin. I got a nice pork loin there I'm going to show you. We're going to hang it on the Pit Barrel Junior and we're going to smoke it and cook it down. Now, I love using my Pit Barrel and I know I show a lot of videos using this. I have the Pit Barrel Junior. I also have the Kamado Big Joe. So, you know, I'm, I, I cook on this. I've even got a Weber Little Smoky little kettle grill there and i even have a lodge um i have a lodge cast iron grill i can't remember what that one's called but you know so i've got different grills and i like using them all uh, it really just depends on the situation and the mood i'm in but i do go to the pit barrel junior more often than not because it is a very easy and effective way to grill some delicious food and they don't pay me to say that they don't ask me to say that I, I just use my pit barrel because I really do enjoy it and it's a, it's a great cooker to use. It's not, it's not a grill, it's not a smoker, it's sort of something in between there. So you, uh, you, you don't regulate the temps on these, you know, you just you set the charcoal basket in there and get it burning in and it just it maintains a certain temperature and that's what you cook at. So, and I also wanted to point out, and my my videos are usually kind of noisy in the background when i'm here at the house and it's because of this right here i live right alongside a uh, major highway here in town and it's a major thoroughfare so there's a lot of traffic i'm normally out here in the afternoon when a lot of people are going home and you you'll hear sirens too because there's ambulances go, go by fire trucks things like that so I just wanted y'all to be aware, you know, we got a major road there, and then just to the south of me there is another major road, so the intersection's right out there. So that's why a lot of the uh, traffic noise is. So anyway, let's get to the cooking. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna, what we're gonna cook here. So I've got this pork loin, and this came from Sam's Club. It was actually a two pack, so when you buy this, it, it comes with two of them. I went ahead and just cut one off, and we're gonna save that and maybe do that in a couple days. A uh, pretty cheap piece of meat basically ten dollars for two so we're paying you know a dollar a pound this is a five pound pork loin and the last one i cooked i cooked one out there when we were at roosevelt state park i didn't film that took a couple pictures of it though but i gotta say man it turned out so good cooked on the pit barrel I even took some leftovers there to uh, Clark's when we were doing the casting get together and I let everybody try a piece and they all just loved it. So I'm hoping I can replicate this. So we're gonna use our Kingsford charcoal. I used just a chunk of this pecan wood and I got my seasoning sitting right here. Forgot to grab it. So I used this on that last pork loin and it just tasted great. I got this from Bucky's. It's their rib and barbecue rub. So I'm gonna try this again and see if I can uh, replicate that same pork loin that I cooked out at Roosevelt. We got one more new thing that I'm gonna try. This is one of these electric, electric torches. I know a lot of folks like using these. I've never used one before. It's basically like a hair dryer. It's got a heating element in there, a fan, and it blows hot air. So you just stick it right here. The only thing I don't like about it, you have to hold the switch down the whole time. And I thought this was something that you could just turn the switch on and set it here and go, but you got to hold it. But anyway, we're going to try this thing. I bought this off Amazon. It cost $40, and I thought it might be another good way to light charcoal versus using other methods. So we're going to give that a shot. We're going to get the coals going, and let's cook us some pork loin. Normally, the way that I would light these uh, Kings for charcoal briquettes is that I would just put a little bit of lighter fluid on them and then lower it down, set it down in the pit barrel, light it off, and just let it burn in. And uh, when I do it this way outside of the pit, I've got this little hook that I made right here that I grab it and pick it up and lower it down into the uh, pit barrel just like that. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to try out this uh, electric heater and let's see if it actually works if this thing works i'll probably rig up some kind of uh trigger hold on this thing you gotta you gotta push it down with your thumb the whole time because i don't know how long this is going to take i'm looking at my clock right now you see the end getting hot there i 
Look at that. It's working. Didn't think it actually worked. I thought this was gonna be a gimmick. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's burning. Let's try the fan. Yeah, that's the push it down that way. Let's see if this gets it lit off. Well, I guess it works. All right. I think we'll go ahead and lower it down in there now and uh, let it just finish doing its uh, burn in. Got my leather welding glove on. All right, there we go. I'm just going to take one of these chunks of pecan wood. I'm going to set that right there on top of it and let this wood start burning in also. It needs to get burned in and charred so it doesn't smolder and make so much smoke. All right, while the pit barrel is getting primed up and ready to cook, we're going to go ahead and prepare this uh, pork loin. These are my these are my uh, nitrile gloves that I like to use. I buy the Glove Works brand, and I just recently started buying the black, the black nitrile. I usually use the orange. It's the same, same glove, but these are black. These are it right here. You can get them off Amazon, usually around, uh, I wanna say 15, 17 bucks a box. So, get this cut open here so you got the two the two pieces there all right I need to grab a rag I keep a roll of these blue towels that hanging over there on the wall there for uh, quick access all right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the mustard and I'm gonna coat them just like I do the ribs. So I'm gonna coat it down with a little bit of mustard to act as a binder to um, help hold the seasoning. Some people say that the uh, mustard doesn't give any flavor to it, but I, I think that it does when you put, when you coat it on there a little heavier. I think it adds a great flavor to it myself, but. It kind of cooks away. Just real simple stuff. It's really hard to make this bad. You know, you just kind of, there's so many different seasonings and way to cook something. I mean, there's the, the, the possibilities are endless, but this is just one way that I, that I like to do it myself. All right. So make sure my hands clean here and we'll go ahead and go in with our Bucky's seasoning now this is actually some really good stuff I, I was really surprised I wasn't sure um, I have no idea who they have make it it's probably similar to you know, other rubs out there but I know it tastes good so we're gonna roll with it just coat it down good Okay, these are ready. The pit barrel should be, I don't see it smoking very much, so we should be about ready to uh, get these things hung. I got Abby out here with me. She's manning the camera. Hey guys. Uh, she just got back in from doing some errands. So let me take another swig of my little quarters light here. We're ready to hang these things and go ahead and put them on the pit. So these are the hanger hooks that comes with the pit barrel whenever you buy it. Just as easy as that. Just kind of go right through the middle. 
people oftentimes i'll see a comment that people are scared that if you do a slab of ribs that it's going to fall off using these i usually go down like two bones and hook underneath a bone and i've, I've never had ribs fall off i've had i've had a piece of chicken fall off before because i didn't hook it right but if you do these right they're not gonna they're not gonna fall off there so there you go by the way i got my uh spray i need to go get it's in the camper I, I like to spray these down with a mixture of applesauce and whiskey you don't have to use apple whiskey. juice what i say apple sauce oh i'm sorry yeah you're right apple juice you love apple Ap sauce <laughs> <laughs> apple sauce is good but apple juice it's a little easier to come out of the squirt bottle but uh anyway i mean you can squirt them down with water apple juice whatever you want so let's go hang them pit barrel should be ready to go yep nice and easy so we'll just i'm just going to put them right in the middle like that just like that yum and it don't take that long to cook i mean it those those they won't take two hours to really get up the temperature so we'll bring you back as we uh, monitor the cook what that the pork's been on there for a half hour so i'm going to go ahead and start my spritz and i go about every 20 to 30 minutes this is what i was talking about just a mixture of apple apple juice and uh, whiskey just give them a little spray down these things are going to be excellent like that we'll keep them rolling until they get up to temp I'll be doing this as I said about every 20 or 30 minutes I'm going to spray them down okay I believe our pork loins are done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them. I'm gonna put them in this pan and I'm gonna probe them and just make sure that they're both cooked uh, to the proper temp. I'll be shooting for at least 165. If it goes over 165, it's fine. So let's go over here and uh, probe them and check them out. They look good though. They look like they're ready to eat. All right, we got our Alpha Grillers instant read thermometer let's see yeah so i'm just going to go to 165 that, that's what i want there so uh, we went over that so we're at 100 180 182 right there at 182 there you go a little bit cooler there in the thicker part right about where i wanted it so just over 165. So these guys are ready to go. We'll take them inside, let them rest for just a bit, and then we'll go ahead and slice it open. Are you taking a video? Yeah. That's one of my little things that I use to uh, sharpen my knives. I got it from Kimco here in town not the best but it actually works it works pretty good good enough for the kitchen knives anyway can you please just cut the meat I am so excited I'm sorry oh that was disappointed face fine <laughs> let's move that over there all right vegetables are ready <laughs> There's the loins. 
we're gonna go with the big fatty for tonight. Let me get a paper towel. All right, it smells good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Great. It's still nice and juicy. It does See that? look great. Look at that. Yes. See that? It's just coming out of there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pit Master Privilege. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. I'm going to let you know if it's any good. Mm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now your mouth is full. Mm -hmm. But you love it. Nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. Good flavor. I try not to talk when my mouth's full, but yeah, so it's good. I think I replicated what I did there at the camp. It's got the nice smoke flavor around the crust and the meat. The seasoning, that Bucky season is really good. I mean, it's just awesome. So it really is excellent. And you, you can see just how juicy it is. You see the, you know, the fat rendering out of it. It's awesome. So, there you go. We're ready to eat our meal there. We got our uh, steam. We, we like to buy those little freezer packs of veggies and we throw it in a microwave and cook it for five minutes. Go with a piece of meat. Excellent dinner. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Go out and uh, cook you a pork loin. It's delicious. I'm starving. <laughs> All right.